take the D-ring apart, go through okay. the wheel, hook it back up. Well, it broke free. How was that? <laughs> Something's got to give on this last bag. This is Exploring with the Nug. My name is Jeremy, and today we're pulling out a stolen SUV in the river. If you guys have been following this story, I've already done one video a few weeks ago diving this spot, and we thought we was going to pull the car out, but go figure, we were ill-prepared. We didn't have any lift bags. We didn't have a lot of rope. We didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into. But today, we are equipped. We got everything we need. We got lift bags. We got ropes. We got boats. We got sonar. Everything is going to be perfect. This thing is coming out of the water one way or another today it's gonna be epic over there is the boat ramp that we're thinking that the car was just pushed off and floated in but dude this thing floated way out to the middle and it's probably a good two three hundred feet that way right in the middle of the river pretty crazy it's about 15 feet deep underwater nothing crazy the problem is the only thing that really freaks me out is this thing is like three quarters of the way buried there's one wheel showing so the plan is we're gonna hook up the airbags to that wheel see if we can break it free and then once we get it floated we're gonna let it float downstream and just guide it to the other boat ramp which is way bigger and a tow truck is showing up and it's gonna come pick this thing up we've got a lot of people here today so I'm not gonna bore you with the introductions of everybody right this second as the video goes on you'll be able to see everybody and I'll be able to talk about them and tell you and all their links will be in the description down below we got lots of other youtubers here including nugget noggin he's come to join us today it's gonna to be really fun so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna break out the boat get it set up get the sonar set up and go find this car and mark it with a buoy Adam is taking the lead with the boat let's get the sonar set up on his boat and let's find this car you ever heard the saying pay it forward well that is exactly what i'm doing today because i saved up all of my dollars and i got myself another uh i got myself another sonar setup and the sonar that i have been using which i've used to locate cars in this river i'm going to be handing off to my good buddy adam from adam brown adventures <laughs> he's got a boat he's got an awp boat and he's out all the time in it and he's searching for treasure so why not get sonar on his boat so he can help us find cars too what do you think about that bro man i'm just oh <laughs> <laughs> it's really muddy right here. Oh my gosh. But this this is just the nicest guy. You guys need to just show him some love. Make sure to subscribe if you're not because, you know, so I really appreciate, you know, hooking, hooking me up with that. We're going to find a lot of cool stuff. I'm excited. Oh, um, it's going to be fun. We're, we're gonna, I'm going to be like in South Carolina. He's going to be in Georgia. We're going to be like looking everywhere, man. All right. So the sonar that I got him set up with, it's a low Rans HDS9. It's a, it's a nine inch screen. It's really easy to use. Got the transducer on the back. We're gonna get this boat out right now and go locate this car, and we're gonna I'm gonna give Adam kind of like a crash course on how to use this. Now, by all means, I'm not an expert, so I'm gonna show him what I know, and then he will learn from there and as, as it goes on. That's the only way really to learn, I think. You know, it's like, you do it this way, or else you get an F. No, we don't do it that way. No, no, no. All right, we're in the boat right now. We got the sonar ready. Got Adam gonna start it up and give him a crash course on this stuff. All right, you ready, man? I'm ready. You ready? All right, so essentially, I mean, you know how to run it. You pull the choke, give it a tug. Well, hell, that's got to be it. So yeah, I said that's got to be it right there. It doesn't actually. This, this is a problem with this one. It doesn't even look. Doesn't look like a car. So essentially, you see that cluster yeah. of anchors? Go right through the middle of it. And I'm gonna, I'll drop that the magnet. Hopefully. All right, we're. Uh... There you go. That's it. Yeah, ho hooked on something. All right, so we played around with the sonar. We ended up going to the chart because I already had it marked on with the waypoint where it's at. This car is really hard to see because it's pretty much buried, but we got the buoy on it. We got the magnet set. Okay, so the next step is we have the buoy set. So now we're gonna go back, get some rope, and then we're gonna dive out here and set up the guide rope. Then we'll get the bags out here and we'll get it floated and send it down to the tow truck. Okay, we're down here at the boat dock and out there we got the buoy set up. You can probably see a little bit right there. That's where the car is. So here's what we're doing. We're going to put Nick in the water, serious Nick. He's heading out to the car with the guide rope. I got about 200 feet of cheap rope that we're gonna to use to tie onto the car, bring it back to the boat dock, tie it off over here. That way we have a guide rope to get us back and forth with all the lift bags and chains and whatever else we're gonna to use to get this car floating.
Thank you. All right, so we got the guide rope tied off right here to the boat dock and out there essentially we got the guide rope set up so now what we're gonna do i'm gonna go get my gear on get the airbags and the tanks and chains down here we're gonna go down there chain this thing up air it up get it floating get it headed downstream so the tow truck guy can pick it up we're gonna get it out yeah one way or the other all right what do you <laughs> do you want the chain and tank or um... What am I going to be doing down there? Like, just helping. Really, we're going to rig the chain up, hook the bags up, and just slowly inflate them. We'll do one bag at a time, obviously, and okay. see what happens. Right. Hopefully, this thing will go nose up, and then we can kind of just laugh at it and see all the mud and shit. And then once it clears out, we'll go dig out the rear tire. Okay. All right. But we have to come back and get the tanks and shit for round two. Yeah. Yep. So, gonna, once it starts floating, this is going to hold it up. Are you, you nervous? You nervous for us? I'm safe up here, y'all. Safe up here? We're all nervous. You think you're safe up here? He's pretty good right here. He thinks he's safe. Let's give you a little recap on what's going on right now. We have three lift bags all attached to that one wheel on the front, and it still hasn't broke free. Uh, the wheel itself has moved, but we still haven't got that suction broke free on the front. I have one bag left. It's a 3,000 pound lift. We're gonna go down, tie that on and air it up, and if nothing happens, there's nothing else we can do because we've used all the lift bags that I have, which is like, let's just, let me see here. 7,500 pounds of lift right now. That is bonkers. Something's got to give on this last bag. So fingers crossed. Let's get back down there. Hook this thing up. All right. Here we go again. Last bag. And it's the big one. Something's gonna happen this time. I feel it.
Okay, so we're out of the water. We failed miserably. And I want to say we, I mean me, because ultimately it was my, this was this was my thing. But man, I used all the lift bags I had. Still couldn't get that thing broke free. I'm gonna have to call on some backup. So I guess there's gonna be a part three to this video because I'm not giving up yet. Now, now it's personal. But anyway, I'm super tired, man. I'm super cold. It's been raining all day, so I'm gonna head to the house. Take a shower, warm up. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Woo!